Well, hello everybody and welcome to this episode of G-Bears Off Gridways, a windy day in the desert, or a homestead in the desert. Anyway, yeah, look at Old Faithful up there just blowing away. I mean, the winds have been relentless day and night. The 20, 24, 26, 28, I mean, it's just wind, wind, wind all the time. I've never seen it like this. Turbine up there just kicking out electricity I don't need. Sun's still shining. The solar panels are still producing. Batteries are at float charge. And this is what I'm getting day after day, night after night. Kind of hard to get anything done with this. Look at the uh, part of the coop over there. You'll see it rocking on the trailer every now and then. Just totally ridiculous. Anyway, I wanted to just cover a few things because I didn't post last night. I wanted to make sure you guys know that i um, still here. And uh, one of the things I did today, because I could, is I get inside the garden house here and I'm, I'm able to do some work so I got, uh, I got some watering done. You can see the tanks are down a little bit because I really soaked the garden well. Now, remember, all of these buckets are full of water. So I'm going to transfer those tomorrow, if I can, up into there and uh, make sure I got those. This one, this barrel's still up here because I just use this one to fill uh, watering cans. Those three are full. And that one is the one that runs the overhead sprinklers. And that's less than half full, so I got about 125 gallons left inside of that one. But something has been eating my uh, greens. And I found a couple of cutworms in here today. The chickens loved them. But uh, look down the line. Look at all the corn popping up here. Got corn everywhere. Yep, corn's coming up. Uh, one thing I'm not happy with is that uh, most of the buds fell off of my uh, pear tree, although here's one that's setting a pear. There's a couple of them so still setting pears up there, but a lot of them fell off. The uh, cabbage, because of the heat, everything is bolting. The cabbage is going into uh, getting ready to head off. But again, something's been eating on the leaves. So there's a big influx on um, moths right now and the moths will lay um, larvae that turn into little green caterpillars that eat up all of this stuff so i found a few of them today and the chickens love them high in nitrogen good for the good for the chickens anyway let's move on down the line here these volunteer carrots i'm gonna have to pull those up pretty soon they're almost ready Look at the uh, grapes coming out on my grapevine. Yeah, got them all over the place up here. Lots of grapes coming on this grapevine, so I'm going to have some grapes anyway. Um, probably not enough to make any um, jelly or anything like that, but at least I'll have some table grapes. Tomatoes all looking good. Again, corn everywhere. Um, that grapevine... I, I really soaked the soil today because I dug into the soil with my hand and uh, what I found was it was dry in the top three inches. So the it was still uh, damp down lower, but the top three inches were, were dried off. So I had to really give it a good soaking. You can see how the water is coming out the bottom below the uh, boards there. So yeah, the... Everything is really, really growing well in here. I have no complaints about that. My uh, sunflowers, I'm going to have to get them out of these small pots. They're not going to make it in there. I'm going to have to get them in someplace else. Um, the uh, citrus or everything else is all coming back to life here. Blueberries, even got fresh flowers on the blueberries. Of course, that blueberry down there was almost dead, but... All of a sudden, it came back to life because it's next to a mate. It's liking life. All right. The uh, peach trees, 
they, they've got to be transplanted. I've got to find room for all this stuff. So anyway, you see a lot of insects around here. Well, I've got a lizard that's inside of here. And today when I was soaking everything, he came out from somewhere behind here and he was on the screen there. There's no way in the world that that lizard can fit through this screen. So he's living inside of this garden house. I had a little talk with him, told him, hey, fine with me, start eating some bugs. <laughs> well, I don't, I guess I don't have to tell him to start eating some, bu some bugs. He was, I, I have to give him 12 inches long and I would say that big around at the belly. Uh, he was he was about the size of a Polish sausage in the in the the body part of him. Good size for a lizard. I wish he was around so I could get him on film. But yeah, this uh, little tree here is just loving life, growing crazy. Uh, potatoes because of the heat. I might end up having to dig some of those out smaller than what they should be, but that's okay. They're good for stew, and I'll save a few for seed potatoes. And we'll go on from there. Uh, strawberries. I got strawberries everywhere here. They're uh, doing great. So is the <clears throat> the beans, the bush beans. And those are um, uh, tangelo trees from my friend Bill's tangelos. I uh, saved the seeds and I grew those from seeds. So they are still in their pots. But I'll have to upgrade those pretty soon. All right, tomatoes. I got tomatoes growing everywhere here. Lots of tomatoes. Um, the sun is in the wrong angle, but yeah, these are romas. I got romas all over this thing. Uh, grapevine, this one didn't even grow last year, but now it's starting to really show some life. Uh, everything got really soaked down. It's doing a good job, so I found a green cutworm down there on that lettuce plant and uh, he uh, donated his uh, lettuce consumption to the chickens. They loved it. But uh, yeah, there's something in here getting into all the greens and I'll have to find it. Oh yeah, these are the mulberry trees. Had to move them inside. The other trees are doing great. But the mulberry trees, all the ones that, every time it set a green mulberry on here, before it could even ripen, the local birds were eating it. So I got two here, I got one here, and I put one over there where the apple tree was because <clears throat> I don't think that apple tree is gonna make it. My tangerine tree though is coming back to life, so I might see something out of that. And uh, these uh, cauliflower, well, they're, they're bolting. Uh, my neighbors are supposed to come down and get some tomorrow. I'm going to have some here too and uh, get those into cooking. My, uh, my celery is uh, coming up like crazy. Pretty soon it'll be ready to hack a few of those off. But if my neighbors want some of those, they can take some with them. Spinach is going crazy too. Cabbage is, oh my God, cabbage is loving life. So I got some heads coming, but these outer leaves, those are still edible. Ain't no reason to throw those away. Uh, my arugula, excellent. All right, everybody. I'm going to go inside and have a cold glass of wine because this wind is just driving me nuts. Sun is getting ready to go down over the mountains. And I'm going to have a sneeze here. Uh, that's okay. I don't need social distancing out here because I'm uh, at least a quarter mile from the next people. Nope. Sneeze went away. Yeah, in my, all, my whole life working in construction, I was never allergic to anything. And then, go figure, I retire and I become allergic to dust. <laughs> oh, so funny. All right, everybody, that's all I've got for today. I'm gonna give this one a, a short down and say thank you all for joining me today. This is G-Bear signing off.